So I started to work at my calendar, the new one, the 2023, and I wanted to show you a little bit of the process. And uh, yes, this is my sketchbook. So what I uh, did at first uh, was to create a list of illustration that I wanted to include for every month. So I went back to all the illustration I've done during the year and uh, all the illustration I've done for my patrons or illustration that are not um, published anywhere. And uh, so I picked from them because I think they are still cute and I uh, didn't use them so much. So I think it makes sense to give them a second life and use them in the calendar. So that's why I created a list, uh, simple as that for uh, every month and sometimes I changed my mind, like for example in October I used another illustration which I've done from scratch, you saw the process already, so sometimes the one that I, uh, that I chose don't fit and I need to adjust. Also I created some other small illustrations because I would like to also do some stickers, some calendar stickers, so for every sticker there will be a tiny illustration and under it there will be only the uh, the dates of the month so it's gonna be pretty pretty simple um, but still I haven't started working on it on this I've done the digital version but I still need to assemble the sticker sheets and I hope they will come out together with uh, with the calendar at the moment let me open my iPad I have here all my uh, illustrations in a stack on the, on Procreate yeah I finished October even though here it's a little bit empty, but I think this is pretty full already, uh, pretty busy, so I would probably leave it this way. I think this space could be also nice for you to write notes and stuff. Yesterday I did November and I took this illustration that I've done for my uh, patrons and changed it a little bit. And I still need to find a couple of icons and then I only need to do November, then I think I'm, I'm done. I will then transfer these to my computer and have um, a printing test. What I would like to do this time is to order one copy of the calendar from the printer, check it, make pictures of it and if it's fine I will order them all. Uh, this time I was thinking about ordering uh, 300, 400 maybe. Uh, all at once so that's why I want to check first if uh, one it's completely fine and there's no error and nothing uh, before I order 400 you know if I purchase a copy I can make some pictures uh, of the calendar and open the sale for um, pre-order so today my goal is to finish uh, with uh, all of them check on the on Photoshop if everything is correct and uh, hopefully uh, already send one to the printer so I can uh, receive it very very soon Good morning, it's Wednesday. I'm in the studio a little late today because I had an appointment so I'm having late breakfast as well <laughs> because I wasn't so hungry in the yeah in the morning so 
but anyway i'm having a delicious uh, chai latte which i love with oat milk uh, so it's uh, wonderful so yesterday in the evening also i would say late evening i progressed a little bit with the calendar myself uh, at home i was just um, yeah working with photoshop and then indesign to prepare the file for the print and today what i would like to do is to have a quick test print here in my studio and then i will send out uh, the calendar for printing i hope they will come in by the end of October so um, then I will be able to ship them and all of that jazz and so yes now uh, what I'm gonna do is to make a print test and see how it looks like while I drink my chai latte of course see you later So this is my uh, test copy, of course the cover is wrong because uh, there's uh, white bleeding <laughs> all around. I'm already seeing some problem here, for example I have to change the color because you cannot see the line which are meant to be the cards of the um, air balloon. But other than that it looks really uh, cute already, I cannot wait to see it printed. I will show you the previous one from last year. So it's gonna be like this, I mean the size is gonna be the same, this was the one from 2022. What I changed mainly is to make the uh, numbers a little bit smaller because I've done a, uh, a poll on uh, Instagram asking you if you wanted to have a little bit more space for writing notes or appointments and you said yes, so that's why I made the numbers a little bit uh, smaller. I've changed the font uh, because now I finally have my own font uh, that I made myself, so it's really exclusive. For each month I chose a, chosen a color, uh, there are overall four colors and they repeat every four months. This year we have Bao, <laughs> which is a new character, so looks really cute. And I will double check the dates again and uh, here probably the pink is too light for the saturday sunday days so probably i will change this as well so that's why it's good to have uh, a print test this is fine the blue is fine i would say probably the yellow needs to be a little bit more darker here and the last page is as usual a recap of all the months which i think is nice makes the calendar look uh, a little bit more uh, professional and uh, also nice when you uh, want to gift it for example it will come with a spiral like this so you can hang it and what is nice i think is that once the the year has passed uh, you can always save these uh, illustrations you can cut them and use them for journaling or um, as a bookmark or something so i really hope you will reuse your old uh, calendars in order not to waste them <laughs> so uh, this is the idea behind them but i'm really really happy with the new version so now i'm gonna make these uh, small changes and uh, finally i will order uh, one copy before i order all of them some days uh, passed I would say three days probably four days and uh, one calendar already arrived so I thought we could open this together and have a look I'm so excited so here it is <clears throat> let's have a look and see if there's something that I need to fix so yes they're usually like this oh 
I already see there's a mistake. There's not the uh, the closing page should be like so. So it's wrong. Ah, this is so annoying. I never had this problem before. So usually uh, they understood by themselves that this was the let's say the back cover. Then there was this. Um, more sturdy cardboard and then the cover but now it looks like this unfortunately with the cover and the back empty so probably i would need to send them an email or something to let them know but let's have a look so the cover looks amazing really like it this is also looking good february march is also okay april as well September, probably I should uh, move this cloud a little bit. This is something that I need to fix. October is looking good. Although I think it's a little dark, the illustration. So probably I could make it a little bit more bright. November is looking good. It's perfect. December is also amazing. Probably this is too, too near to the border. So I need to move everything a little bit uh, up or make this um, a little smaller so yes um, it's cute but there's definitely something that i need um, that i need to fix So I want to explain what happened. Uh, unfortunately, the I mean the calendar arrived, but um, yeah, the printer just um, just got the paper wrong. So um, yeah, as I told you, I um, I purchased one copy before, so I could check the paper, I could check the quality, and I could check the layout and everything and all was okay and um, this was the paper that I wanted to have. I purchased 400 calendar with recycled paper and I got this which is now um, completely different paper. I know that you cannot tell unfortunately in the camera probably but this is more yellow and it's also uh, slightly glossy and this is instead is uh, really really matte and white papers and, and also i don't like it because um, here the print is more dark more saturated uh, which you can tell especially in some illustrations for example this one this is way more red and i really don't like the color and probably you can see here how yellow this paper is and this is more white so yes this has been um a really really frustrating problem to be honest because now i i have to wait i wanted to launch this uh, calendar last weekend which was on the 30th of october and now today is the first of november and um, i need to wait <laughs> and i still need to wait and now i just sent the whole batch back and they are reprinting it uh, which makes me really anxious because now I need to wait even longer to launch this um, calendar. I really hope um, that they will come hopefully by the end of the week. And so yes, this was a major failure to be honest. It makes me really really sad last week. I was almost, uh, I almost wanted to cry when I saw that the paper wasn't right and everything because I thought this year finally I had the idea of uh, printing one beforehand so I could check everything so I was doing everything right and then they got the paper wrong so um, it's really frustrating when you <laughs> do your best to do stuff and then they um, they messed up with it so I don't know actually what is happening lately with printers but uh, I'm having so many problems with all of them with all of my manufacturers my manufacturer and 
and really don't understand what is going on. So yes, this is my uh, experience now with the calendar. I'm still waiting for them to arrive. Um, stay tuned because I will uh, tell you for sure on Instagram when I'm going to launch them. And um, yes, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you next time. Bye.